You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today we welcome Philip Osaurus to the studio. Philip, good to see you. Thank you, Mark. Thank you for this opportunity. Um, first of all, thank you for doing what you do. Um, the Library Poetry Series, Everyone Has a Voice, is wonderful for the community. I was originally a poet skeptic, okay, because I was forced to read poetry in high school. That's mostly how it works. You go to elementary school and you have the, the meter and the rhyme and Robert Frost and Emily Dickinson, but poetry is so much more than that, as you have discovered. Absolutely. I like Robert Frost, though. I yep. do have no, Robert I'm Frost not books saying, at home, I'm not but saying. there were some that I didn't, and um, I guess when you're assigned to do it and you're told to do it, it's not as much fun. Mm -hmm. When you choose to do it or when the spirit moves you, takes you, you takes and you, you to and do you it. discover new voices, it's amazing. So I've been recording a lot of them. Correct. And I've yep. been going on a Saturday mid-afternoon, 1 to 3. The next one is October 19th. We'll talk about who the guests are and the open mic, which features you. Right. right? Um, they're all amazing. The open mics, I've watched people just walk up there. Some of them are experienced. Some of them are new to it. Some of them are reading it off their little tiny cell phone and squinting at it, which I tell my students not to do when right. they're doing speeches. Yep. But that's the new, that's you know, I'm the an new. old dog, and maybe I'll learn new tricks. But it's enjoyable. And, and some of it is poetry that's like rap. Yep. If you think about rap, even the people that don't like it, like my father didn't like it. It is poetry, if you Absolutely. really think about it. If you, you know, I'm not a big fan of the F-bombs and all of that stuff, but that kind of enters the picture every instance. Once in cable, a you can say those words on cable, it's okay. Yep. So people always ask me that. So October 19th, one to three at the main library, 304 Main Street, right. downtown branch, um, alley. Allie Brioso is going to host it. Our, our little force of nature. Absolutely. And she adds to it, too, i got to tell you, because she, she always has wonderful observations about the different poets or kind of draws you into what's next. Yeah. I think she does a good job. You're modest. You don't like to host. You like to be behind the scenes. I'm behind the scenes, correct. Okay. So tell us about the two poets that are October well, 19. We have Christina Liu, who is from uh, Cambridge, and her parents immigrated from China and settled in Boston, and that's where she got a lot of her cultural poetry from. And she's gonna bring that along, you know, with some new poetry that she's written. And my favorite thing is that we are featuring student poets. Mm -hmm. um, this month we're featuring Carly De, De Miranda Pires from Brockton High, 16 years old, and she is mature beyond her age. It's amazing what she brings to the, um, to the poetry. Um, her voice, uh, so honest. That was me, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, yeah, her voice is, is so honest and her words are, um, will cut right through you. Well, I've noticed that the students, the younger people that mm -hmm. come, Pretty powerful stuff. Very powerful. Really deep, okay, and emotional, and just, I mean, you gotta think. I'm not sure. Well, actually, I am sure. When I was that age, I don't think I was that deep. I, 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 I really, I, I did creative writing, I didn't do poetry, but they're putting their experiences and their thoughts right into what they're talking about. And the experiences of growing up, of what's going on in school. I know, I know Carly, that's what her main uh, poetry is about, about the bullying that you know, she encountered in high school. Mm -hmm. and, but she's turning it around and letting you inside of what, you know, what's happening in, in her age group. Well, I can't wait for that. Um, I have it on my calendar. I, I just set aside, it's the third Saturday, third Saturday of every month. And this is the third year that we've been doing this. Right. So we're getting more and more uh, people coming in. But the thing I want to express to everybody out there is if you have a poem, uh, please come in and you know let us hear it. But also if you have a song, mm -hmm. 
we're welcoming people, you know, who want to sing and, you know, right. sing their song or a short story, um, you know, a little passage out of your short story. So we're taking everybody. We want to, this is the reason this series is called Everyone Has a Voice. Right. So we want to hear everybody's voice. And, of course, you're going to be in an environment where it's going to be welcoming. It's non-judgmental, and people are going to give you feedback, and it's all positive. And people bring their friends, and sometimes those friends may not have a poet, a poem, poem or a song or a story that time, but maybe they right. come back the next time and they get the courage when they see people that are there, because it is really a supportive environment. It, it, it seems to be growing. Every month there's a couple more people there. Mm -hmm. um, Saturday afternoon in the fall, when it's a little colder out, we're probably going to have even more people, well, if you think about I it. I hope so, yeah. And, is, and we want to make Brockton a lighthouse for the creative arts. You know, when we talk about creative arts, we think Boston, Cambridge, Providence. We want Brockton to be right in there with them. Well, I, I think they are, and it's all at the Brockton Public Library, which has turned into a community center. Mm -hmm. The, the staff and the trustees and the volunteers have made it what it is. There's yep. STEM activities going on in there. You might have the poetry going on upstairs, and you might have the Brockton Symphony downstairs, downstairs. and yep. you might have a children's activity in the children's room. And the best part of all of it is when it's at the library, 90 plus percent of the time, it's free. It's free. It doesn't and, cost anything. And we can't go um, without thanking Paul Engel the director of the library. He's the one um, with the f foresight to bring everything into the library now. Mm -hmm. the, and, you know, obviously you can go read a book of poetry, but right. it's better to experience it right there. And, and you know, I always say with, with music, it's all in, in multicultural. We're going to talk about another event mm -hmm. that is going to go on later in the year that deals with the uh, multicultural aspects of the city of Brockton and the surrounding communities in, in poetry and other languages. Correct, yep. So, We're all excited about the, that event coming up. Yep, so what else, anything particular about Carly or Christina that you might wanna get across before well, we finish? Well, as I said, Car I think Carly, when you hear Carly, you're really gonna get a, um, a sense of what's going on in our society Mm -hmm. um, you know, what, what the kids are going through. And Christina, of course, you're going to get the diversity of another culture. Yep. Um, so, and Brockton, as we know, is a center of diversity. We have so many. Absolutely. Yep. So, so everyone has a voice. Saturday, October 19th, 1 to 3 in the Driscoll Art Gallery at the Main Library at 304 Main Street. Ali Brioso will host it. Philip... I will be Put there in the background. Put it all together and behind the scenes, this cheese and crackers and all of that. Oh, yeah. So thanks for doing what you do. Thank Always you, Mark. Always a pleasure. Oh, thanks. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.